कोडर्स वेलकम टू डे बाइट स्कूल डे टेन सेशन ऑफ मास्टरिंग स्प्रिंग मूड ओके सो इन दिस सेशन वी फोकसिंग ऑन अ डीटीओ लेयर ओके सो डीटीओ लेयर इज नथिंग बट अ डेटा ट्रांसफर ऑब्जेक्ट ओके सो फॉर अ सिक्योरिटी पर्पज इट इज नॉट अ गुड प्रैक्टिस टू यूज एंटीटी क्लासेस एट अ रेस्ट एंड पॉइंट सो टू प्रोवाइड एक्स्ट्रा प्रोटेक्शन लेयर वी यूज अ डीटीओ क्लासेस एंड टेक अ वैल्यूज फ्रॉम देयर फ्रॉम अ रेस्ट एंड पॉइंट एंड पास टू अवर ATD classes to perform any operation. Okay, so uh, with respect to our business logic, we need to create a multiple um, classes. Okay, so let's go through it one by one and try to we try to create uh, try to create that. So for a blocks, uh, we need to create a save block request. Okay, and uh, block response over there. Then update block request means like save it not contain a uh, blog ID. But update contain a blog ID. Okay, then the common blog response class we will create. Okay, uh, delete blog don't require any like request class and response class. Okay, we just need to uh, give a response back. Okay, and um, for blog uh, we need to just return a blog response class. Okay, and here list of blogs. Okay, for comments we need like add comments and uh, comment response. and update comment request and uh, uh, same comment response class okay after that uh, for delete only message we need to return so no dto class is required for this after that get comments we need a list of uh, comments okay and uh, for pagination we need to create a, a one generic uh, dto class okay that contain like play page number like we need to uh, we need to start from a uh, zero page To the tenth page. So if you define the page size as ten, so it give a ten record from zero to uh, nine. Okay. After that, uh, we need to uh, we need to sort by a descending or ascending. We can do that. Okay, in admin panel. And after that, uh, we just passing a generic value. So we need to find by with respect to like blog ID or a blog uh, subject. Okay. Uh, yeah. And we need a generic overall response entity. Okay. That contain a uh, data which is a generic type, okay, and a message which message we need to return, okay. Okay, so let's uh, go to our IntelliJ and creates all required classes, okay. So let's create for a uh, blog, okay. Just copy this blog entity and paste in a DTO and just rename with like save uh, like save blog request. or you can just say that like create blog request create blog request and in create blog basically we not required a id okay just remove that and remove the document annotation okay and remove that created updated okay after that a uh, copy that this again and create for update blog blog request okay and in update blog request just remove this a uh, document annotation and create a bit red and id we require okay after that uh, uh let create a response okay so just uh, copy that stuff and paste it over here and um, give name as a blog response okay so blog response remove this document annotation okay and uh, we required create update add get in a response uh, entity because we need to get i uh, give idea to you user like uh, when the blog is created and when the particular blog is updated okay so let's uh, create a dto classes for comments okay Co copy this comment entity just paste over here and give like create comment request okay class create comment request class and that is not required id okay and uh, document annotation remove the unwanted stuff okay yeah we done with that okay again a uh, paste that stuff and rename update comment uh, request okay and update comment request we required id and title you have to remove this create updated add okay and just remove this uh, document annotation and last we need a comment response okay 
okay so comment response contain id and all the stuff created update add just remove this document annotation okay so we're done with like a uh, blog and comment okay uh, now we required one common uh, common uh, dto class for pagination so let's copy this class name common pagination request okay and just uh, create one class over here just rename with like common pagination uh, pagination required class okay so that contain uh, overall like four variables okay so this four variable first is like page number which is uh, the starting page number okay and page size so for example if you want to fetch a 10 record from 0th position to 9th position so you give page number as a 0 and page size as a 10 okay sorted by is basically used for like you to sort by descending or ascending okay and the value is basically used for like we need to uh, find with respect to like user id or a block title any other criteria okay so we create a generic uh, co common pagination request okay uh, i will explain in detail when we uh, implement that with the controller classes okay after that uh, in overall project uh, project level we need one response entity okay so that a response entity class contain a two stuff first let's create this class okay and that is response entity current two stuff one is like a string message okay so if you want to give any message as a response like particular uh, like uh, the block created successfully or block updated successfully we need we use this variable and after that we need a generic uh, response sometime we return list of uh, uh, blocks sometime we return only single blocks okay so it not makes sense to uh, create a separate response entity for that so for that we create a generic response entity okay just create it pass the generic variable okay and just rename as a data okay and just give a getter setter annotation uh, here also just paste this stuff okay okay uh, let's cross check everything okay yeah we done with all uh, DTO classes which required for our business requirement okay um, yeah that's it for today's video if you have any question please write down in a comment we will try to address that and uh, if you like our video please click on like button and share share with your friends and uh, colleagues who have same tech stack and uh, please subscribe to our video let's meet on a next video where we discuss on exception handling thank you so much for watching